this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns. Coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. Appreciate everything that y'all do for the 2 way community. And I appreciate that. And like I said before, the number one goal over here is to uphold the Constitution defend the Second Amendment. It's going to take everybody, people. It's not going to, to my, none of your, so, your social media stars, your politicians, none of your, your, your professional sports players, the president. None, none of them can do it. Because if so, it will be done by now. We won't be talking about it. It's going to take us, the citizens in this country, to get that done. So, you know, that is the ultimate goal over here. There's no fame, no glory. And, you know, with that said, uh, we're going to talk about some stuff other than what you see in the headlines. You know, you have the media and you have everything else trying to divide this country. They're trying to destroy this country and they're trying to work, start from the middle and work their way out like I've always been talking about. Now, we're going to talk about some little information from the ATF. Now, it has been huge record breaking for the last few months in this country when it comes to background checks, first time gun owners. Uh, when it comes to farm sales, ammo sales, I'm to my, you know, um, also gun shops been making plenty of money. I'm to my gun stocks is up, Ruger, whole lot of other um, gun um, companies and stuff, stock is through the roof. So, you know, it has been an up season in 2020 for the 2A community and a whole lot of stuff. And also that is up that, you know, hey, it comes along with the territory. It's stolen farms and stuff, you know, gun crime and all this kind of stuff. A lot of that falls in it too. So, you know, we have to talk about that. Now, the ATL been in the headlines recently. We talked about the ATL. Um, we talked about when it comes to the uh, the pistol brace and stuff. You got a lot of news and stuff with that and everything with ATL. I'm talking about the ATF is not perfect, but do they have they have a lot of work at hand and everything? And, you know, one thing I was looking at when it comes to ATF, they're getting more money, more funding. Um, they're getting more resources and stuff. I'm talking about because the situation that we're in when it comes to Minneapolis and all this gun violence and stuff like that, the ATF has been shifting a lot of power to Minneapolis. Um, they're shifting a whole lot of manpower to Chicago, where it's very needed. Uh, we need to focus at Chicago, get that under control there. And, you know, um, it's a problem in Chicago. So, you know, the ATF need to really... Uh, focus over there and get that situation done now um some things that you probably don't know about atf they're working hard they have a lot of technology that a lot of people are uh, misinformed about that they're using and stuff when you have a lot of stolen farms i'm talking about, we talked about the gun shop robberies we're talking about people farms been stolen out of their vehicles and stuff it's so many ways farms have been stolen and, and just all across this country um i have the videos of stolen farms how they move very quickly um, they're moved from, you know, one city to another across the country real quick. Don't take long, people. And so the ATL has this new gun technology, um, you know, where they're helping out um, police departments across this country and stuff like that. Um, they're using that technology. But they have another technology called NIBIN. Now, NIBIN is it's like a ballistic network um, information center. And what that does is it takes... Um, uh, a shell casing and connects it to a gun and then it connects it to a person so they're using all this this information in this country and not even it, it collects information all over this country and put it in one system so they can track these guns and suspects they already use it capturing people um they don't get a lot of um headlines and stuff but the atf has been arresting people from carjacking to some of everything in this country gunshot robberies and stuff theft and all this kind of stuff so the atf has been doing a pretty decent job but you know they also um i don't know if they have some internal issues and stuff when it comes to you know banning things the braces and stuff or if it's political we don't i don't really know there's so much information that's going on there i don't know the atf have a whole lot of pressure but the atf is doing a lot of work and you know they you know i have looked at some of the resources when it comes to atf and you know their manpower and stuff like that they are incre they are increasing that especially with the environment that we're in right now and you have so many crimes being committed and stuff like that and i think the atl as far as what i looked at is a smaller agency than most i'm talking about you know with the amount of um issues that they're dealing with on a weekly basis when it comes to background checks and you know crimes and all this kind of stuff you know they they, they got their hands full 
And, you know, also when it comes to political environment, you know, they want to ban stuff from the 2A community and stuff like that. They got their hands full. So I don't know if there's an internal issue or put, you know, I don't really know. About because, you know, as gun owners, we know how the ATF been flip flopping on different things and stuff like that. But with that said, people, the ATF is working hard and they got new technology and stuff and they're capturing people all across this country and stuff like that. So um just wanted to let you know that you know they got some technology that's pretty awesome and stuff like that i've been looking to still doing research in but you know don't count the atf out i'm talking about you know they've been doing this for a long time and they're not stupid a lot of people think the atf is you know, is not is not smart or you know they behind on times don't fool yourself people there's a lot of people behind bars right now who underestimated the atf so just wanted to um you know let you know some information that LP, the um, ATF is using, you know, knibbing and stuff and this new gun, gun technology and stuff. And, you know, when you have a lot of these main factors and companies and stuff, they're working with the ATF and everything. They're, you know, producing that new technology, new softwares and stuff. And one thing people don't understand with all the farm sales and stuff like that, the ATF is tracking that. They're tracking farm trends and stuff like that. So don't be fooled, people. The ATF is tracking a lot of this stuff, whether you know it or not. So just want to talk about that a little bit. This is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.